Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial I'm going to talk about how to enchant your weapons and armor with auto passive states. So to get started you're going to need a few things. Go over to Yanfly's website. He just uh, posted a new video about what I'm about to talk about so check his video out first if you want to. It goes over everything. Um, I'm going to take a different approach and I'm going to show you a few items and different ideas that I've come up with and a couple of things that I've noticed. So in order to do this you're going to need three plugins. So you're going to need the Yanfly core engine, the item upgrade slots, and the auto uh, passive states. You're probably going to need the equip engine and the item core as well. So um, I would just get all the Yanfly scripts um, or at least most of them because they're pretty awesome. And Sinpai has noticed us with this tips and tricks video. Uh, I know I personally left a message asking about this, and then I'm sure three or four other people have. Um, so it's kind of cool. Once you get the plugins installed, I have several other videos showing you how to download and install plugins. So we're going to bypass that. Check some of my other videos out if you're unsure on how to install plugins. Once you have the plugins installed, you want to go to your states and create some new states. Here's a few of the ones that I've made um, that you can enchant. So Gold Finder, you can make an item that um, applies a passive state that doubles your gold rate, doubles your drop rate, gives you immunity to different status effects, um, applies multiple different tiers of regen. Um, you can have one item that, that gives a small uh, HP regen, MP regen, and TP regen. You can have uh, an enchantment item that gives extra swings. You can have enchantment items that reduce the cost of your, your MP skills. You can have enchantment items that uh, will inflict certain states on attack, like burning or poison. You can, uh, you can double your attacks, uh, or your actually action times, so that you get two turns or three turns for every turn. <clears throat> Uh, the HP limit, this one you could have already done without uh, doing any lunatic mode evals, but I threw those in there just just to try it out. Um, extra experience, it's pretty cool. And this is the the gem of the of the bunch. This uh, this state when you when you have this state, you have a five percent chance to inflict all these different states on your target when you hit them. So there's 15 different states here. Poison, blind, silence, con uh, confusion, sleep, paralysis, stun, and so forth. And each state has a 5% chance of proccing. So when you hit your enemy, any of these things could, could proc, and multiple can proc on the same one. It's pretty cool. I like this one. So once you've created the states that you uh, want to be enchantable, go to your items, and then uh, <clears throat> create new items. You can call it whatever scrolls or enchantments or orbs or anything you want any theme you want to go with and then if you use this little text icon forward uh, the forward slash IT and then the number it'll actually insert the the graphic and the state uh, that's in that number so if we were to look at 14 on our states that first one will give us HP regen so when you read this in game it'll say the sword will enchant a weapon and armor with and it'll show the, the heart icon, HP regen. Pretty cool. <clears throat> so to make these scripts, uh, to make this work, you're going to need to use eval, which is lunatic mode of the, the auto passive or item upgrades, some of Yanfly scripts. And you're going to start with a bracket saying upgrade effect. Then you're going to type this in eval uh, colon space item dot passive capital S on states dot push. And then uh, parentheses, the number of the state you want the the item to enchant an armor for the, the this uh, auto passive state so this number would reflect the number of the state right here and then you're going to close it off with the uh, in Brit in uh, brackets with the slash upgrade effect to say we're done adding our evaluations don't forget the semicolon at the end <coughs> Here's a few of the ones that I've done. The standard regeneration, MP regen, and, and TP regen. Gold finding, uh, resist certain things. I've already gone through those. Uh, and then also adding extra slots just
because you're gonna have, you're gonna have all these new enchantment things. You're gonna need some slots. So I've gone I've gone ahead and made a chest with a bunch of these things in here, just so we can go through real quick and have a look at some of them. All right, let's go to our gear. We're just gonna optimize some of the. Got our, a metal ring. And uh, we'll go to our items. Here's how you use them. You go to um, the items tab and you're going to see weapons and armor. They have a number next to them now. Uh, they've, they've had it ever since it came out with, with the Antfly scripts, but now we're able to add states. I, I, mean, I imagine we were always able to, but most people just didn't know how. <clears throat> so we have five slots available. Let's uh, go ahead and go HP, MP, TP regen. Let's go with an extra swing. And let's do the Malbro site stripe. One thing I did notice is when I started to add a whole bunch of extra states, uh, especially action time, and I doubled my actions, I started getting a lot of lag in between each turn. So you might want to uh, think about how many states you want to have active. With uh, one to four states, the lag isn't too bad. But as you start adding more states, each turn seems to lag quite a bit. So let's do an attack and see what stays in take here. So we have that double attack, so me is swinging twice. And we've got Confusion and uh, I think that's Dizzy, a, di a state that I created. Now that we got Burning and Chilled, and Dizzy is still there. We hit him, so Confusion wore off. Now we've got uh, the flooded state, or soaked state, blind. These slimes have a, a close to a million HP, so that now that uh, we got poison and bleeding, they take off percentages of their eight, their max HP each turn, so it's not it doesn't show yet. Uh, hopefully this is something that's added, or HP bars gets added soon, because that poison and the burning effect, they're doing the most damage. They're doing like uh, 10,000 a tick. Or even a hundred thousand because it's ten percent. So, a hundred and thirty thousand damage every round from the burning and the poison that it's not showing. So there's poison now, and you can see that after a number of turns, I'm going to be able to kill these slimes who have uh, close to a million HP. Uh, also, I'm using a, a, a like a fast forward script, and I'll show you that one really quick too. It's really good uh, script. It's also featured on Yenfly's website. Go check him out. Her. Him. Her. I don't know if Yenfly is a boy or a girl. So. Let's uh, have a look at that enemy real quick. Just so you can see that the slime has almost a million HP. But I was able to kill it with the status effect. Um. That's going to really do it for this video. I just wanted to show you a few of the ideas that I've came up with and to uh, promote Yanfly's new uh, tips and tricks video. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe if you want more content like this. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being awesome. Continue to ask those questions in the comments, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.